Ian, Ian, you've put me under pressure. The first ever show that I'm doing, and I'm here with Mariah Carey. You get some big guests in, sir. So. She's had more number one singles than any female artist. She's already number one in millions and millions of arts. Give it up for the lovely Mariah Carey. <laughs> You guys are watching. Is this, is this, are we have any problems here? You gotta let me know because you're keeping it real with me. I'm gonna tell you the truth as well. So. <laughs> it's a pity now because now on this side, I can't really see that side. It seems to be showing a lot more that side sorry, than this side. Sorry, darling, the dress is short. I'm sorry. I didn't really, you know, quite what to do, in fact. I just woke up. They told me. This is Bianca, my alter ego, actually. She's yeah. British. Right. But this morning I woke up very early and I went to the Rainbow Trust. Um, and it was, you know, my album is called Rainbow. And I've been trying since the beginning to figure out like a few different ways of trying to do some charitable works that would mm -hmm. be important and really work. Because anyway, I said I want to do something, uh, you know, where I can help benefit people. And it just so happened I heard about the Rainbow Trust. Mm -hmm. and my album is called Rainbow. So they said, you know, you can go and talk about it, blah, blah, blah. And I wanted to donate next week all of the sales from Rainbow to uh, um, yeah. the Rainbow Trust. Yeah. Every, every penny? My penny. Every penny you make on every this Every penny money? I would make. Now, I don't make as much as the record company makes, mind you. Anyway, so I said I've got to go there this morning. Right. Because I don't want to go be talking about something that I don't really understand. So I went, and what was very ironic for me was that um, I met Joe, who you met The little guy, stage. yeah, we met little Joe backstage. And, and so he's adorable. Not Joe that I'm going to sing with later, but the other Joe. Little Joe. Yeah, little Joe. And his whole family, and they are mixed race. And I'm mixed race. And I didn't realize that the family was going to be like a, a white mother and a black father. Right. And, you know, I'm very kind of like obsessed with that because in America, it's not so common. I think like more people here have experienced it than, yeah. than where I... Yeah, we're, we're not as, as, as strong and deep as how they were in America, like, you know. I grew up there and I grew up um, with a lot of like... Anger? Was, was you angry? I wasn't angry, but I was insecure about myself. I didn't look like my friends. Well, what did they look like? Well, either black or white. <laughs> you either you black or you white. But people don't, you know, they don't necessarily understand that. That, you know, even today, and I love Howard Stern, he's great, but he still to this day says, I can tell be Spanish and black. I don't believe her. She's lying. He doesn't want to accept that, you know, he doesn't want to accept my mixed culture. It's like, you know what? It's not that deep. Mm -hmm. Many people have mixed. It's not a big deal. You know what I mean? But in America, it's very difficult. So I feel like if I've done anything in my career, forget breaking records, mm -hmm. forget anything. If, I, if I've done anything, it's help mixed race kids have a role model because they write me and they talk to me and they yeah. tell me thank you. And I didn't have that okay. when I was growing up. So I feel good about that. Oh, no. <laughs> What was your first song you sang yourself? How old was you? Oh, the first song I sang. I don't know because I started singing when I started talking. Yeah? Yeah. That long? And whistling. Whistling too. Not with the voice, but like... 
you know, like, what's the song? It's in like, but I can also do. Wait, see Mariah Carey do. Come on, that's pretty good, right? Uh, that's pretty good. You got all your own songs. Yeah, except when I do a cover of somebody. The only song I didn't write that wasn't a remake was with, with Whitney. Houston, oh, yeah. when we did, we, uh, There Can Be Miracles When You Believe. Yeah, their friend? I love Whitney. People can say what they want, but I love Whitney. I really do. I was there at the MTV Europe Awards the other yeah, day. Because we she had won. so many things, you know, they said bring in oh, this. Oh, they lie, they make stuff up, but you know what? I was backstage applauding for her when she won her award. So mm -hmm. eat, drink, dance, whatever. That is a good person, and I appreciate her and and she's been an influence on so many people mm. and she was around long before me so i have to give respect to the people that are pioneers right. that have done this so what about now is there, is there money in your life, life now that oh darling i know you've researched this darling i know you have <laughs> yeah you can't deny it can you well i well now that you say it darling now, now that you're being, <laughs> being so up across you know absolutely and speaking so properly well right no. Is there? On what do you think? Well, there should be if there isn't. Give it up for Mariah. Thank you. Thank you. Talking of extra special things, you listened to her talk earlier, but now you're going to hear her sing right now. Please welcome the delightful Mariah Carey.
Sing another song for us, along with R&B singer Joe. This is Mariah Carey. Yeah. 